Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing no contact support the first few months. I provide audio and email coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details, www.dateme.tips. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing no contact support the first few months. So this is part two of a mini series that I'm doing providing support for people who are using my version of a no contact rule. The no contact rule is something that lots of people suggest you implement if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back. However, there are many different versions of a no contact rule that you can find online and I believe that my version will give you the best possible chance of trying to get your ex back. So I suggest that you subscribe to my podcasts so that you can familiarise yourself with my version of the no contact rule. On my YouTube channel, I actually have a playlist called The No Contact Rule, and the clue is in the name. It consists of all of my content where I speak of my version of The No Contact Rule. So please check it out. Start at the beginning and listen all the way through to the end of the playlist, and that will really help you understand my thoughts, feelings, and theories regarding my version of The No Contact Rule please subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell for notifications. So as I said, this is part two of a mini-series where I'm providing you support for you using my version of a no-contact rule. In the first episode, I was providing support for people going through the first few days and weeks of the grind, the first few days and weeks of using my version of a no-contact rule. That was part one of this mini-series. That is where I was providing the support. But in today's podcast, I'm going to be really focusing on people that have used my version of a no-contact rule for the first few months. So let's imagine this has started from month one, obviously, and going all the way up to, say, possibly six months. So if you are somebody who has implemented my version of a no-contact rule from month one to roughly month six, this podcast is dedicated to you and I'll be giving you the support you need to keep moving forward. Firstly, it's important to say that you will probably be feeling very confused with time. And when I say this, I'm speaking of in one instance, you feel like a lot of time has passed. And in another instance, you'll be thinking that everything feels the same. So when you were first implemented my version of a no contact rule, days and weeks feel like an eternity. They feel like they are the longest period of time known to humanity. Now, when you have got through the first few months, you will have understood how the days flick by quite quickly. You will understand how the, the first day you went through no contact, it felt like forever, but now the days are ticking by quite quickly. You are feeling that time is moving on very fast. Every day in some respects feels the same and the grind is still very real. And this is why it can feel very strange regarding time. Because on one hand, time is clearly moving by very quickly. You think back and you worry that you haven't spoke to your ex in what feels like an eternity. The days and weeks, which used to feel like forever, are now flicking by so quickly you can't quite believe how many months have gone by. But on the other hand, as I've just mentioned, you're still going through that grind and things are still feeling pretty much the same. So if you are feeling really confused about whether you are making progress or not, you feel like you're just standing still, even though time's moving forward, let me tell you, you are making progress. Every single day, you're implementing my version of a no contact rule. Not only are you increasing the possibility of one day hearing from your ex again, you are also healing yourself. And that is so important because no contact is not just about trying to get your ex back. No contact is about focusing on yourself, healing yourself and moving forward in a more positive direction. 
when you are implementing my version of a no contact rule, you are also going through self improvement. If you're doing everything that I suggest regarding the no contact rule, it's not as if you were just sitting around at home doing absolutely nothing, looking at your watch. You're not doing that at all. You're pushing forward. You are going through self improvement. You are making changes to your daily routine. So if you are truly dedicating yourself to my version of a no contact rule, then you are actively improving yourself day by day. So even if you are feeling like the grind is still really pulling you down, you're still feeling the agony, you're still feeling incredibly emotional and sad, maybe you are still feeling angry and bitter, you are making progress and all of the things that you are doing day by day if you are following the steps and the suggestions that I make. These things are having an effect subconsciously and they will move into your conscious mind the further you carry on with my version of a no contact rule. So please keep going. Please don't feel that it's a waste of time. Please don't feel that just because you are still feeling the pain that it is not working. It's working on your subconscious and that will eventually move into your conscious mind and you will feel the benefits. Additionally, if you are still trying to get your ex back, this is increasing the chances of your success. Every day you are maintaining my version of a no contact rule, you will be slowly but surely increasing the level of intrigue in your ex's mind. Slowly but surely, the level of romantic emotional attraction in your ex's mind will begin to move higher. And if it reaches a certain point, then they will one day make contact with you. This could take months and months and months. This could take years. This sometimes will never happen. There is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back. And even if you do everything right, if in combination of the relationship, the breakup and the aftermath, the level of romantic emotional attraction had fallen too low, then sadly, nothing will be able to raise it to that necessary point. However, we don't know this. There is no way of knowing for sure what the level is, what the level fell to, and what the level can move up to. So you can't just look at your situation and say, look, there's absolutely no chance this will ever happen. There is always a chance, okay? And you need to be moving forward with my version of a no contact rule. Because not only will it be increasing the possibility of your ex one day getting to the necessary point of wanting to contact you, but because as I said previously, it's focusing on yourself and it's giving you the self-improvement to become a version 2.0 of yourself. And that is so, so important. Whether you get your ex back or whether you find somebody new, you need to become a version 2.0 of yourself. You need to be a better person than your ex remembered if you get back together. And if you don't get your ex back, if you become a version 2.0 of yourself, you will actually be able to find somebody even better than your ex because your attraction net will be larger and you will be able to attract more people than you ever could at the time of you first getting together with your ex. Something else I want to focus on when I'm giving you support during the first few months of your no contact experience is that there is a strong possibility that during these first few months you are going to hit a significant date on your calendar. Maybe it's your birthday, maybe it's your ex's birthday, maybe it's Christmas, maybe it's New Year. Maybe it's your anniversary. Maybe it is another date, but I've not mentioned. But there's a very strong possibility that as you approach this half year period, you will hit at least one significant date. So this will likely cause you to ask yourself a question, shall I maintain no contact or shall I break it and reach out to my ex? I'm here to tell you that in the vast majority of instances, you should maintain no contact. If you have been dumped, you should never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. Because if you break no contact and reach out to them before they've spoke to you, you don't know what their mindset is. And the best guess is that they are not ready to want to reconnect. Because if they was ready, they would have contacted you. So if you break no contact before they contact you after you've been dumped, there is a very strong possibility that you will not get your ex back from this moment. You will either likely get no response at all or quite possibly a negative reply or in some instances your ex will reply positively but it will be from a place of pity or kindness and not from romance. They are very unlikely to have enough romantic emotional attraction for you to want to rebuild your connection at this time. If they did have, they would have contacted you. 
Now, of course, nothing works 100% of the time that I suggest and nothing fails 100% of the time that I tell you not to do. However, I'm trying to give you the best advice based on the statistics and the likelihood of the outcome. And there is a very low possibility of reaching out to your ex after you have been dumped that you will be able to reconnect. So if you hit a significant date on the calendar during this first few months of no contact, I suggest you maintain no contact. Now, there are a few exceptions to the rule, and I will let you know of one right now in today's podcast. Let's imagine that you implemented my version of the no contact rule after you've been dumped. And after a period of time, your ex did reach out to you. Your ex reached out to you and you had a positive conversation. Sadly, that conversation didn't lead to you reconnecting at that time. And that's perfectly normal. A dumper will likely reach out various times before reconnection takes place. So let's imagine in this instance, they've reached out for this first time. You have a positive interaction, but then it ends from there. You don't actually meet up and nothing progresses at this moment. Within the next few weeks, the significant date occurs. If you are in this position, then I do suggest you have a possibility, you have scope to reach out to your ex. But this will only be the case if your ex has reached out to you after the breakup. So consider the situation that you've had the breakup, you've implemented no contact, and at a certain point, your ex reached out to you. Now, as I've said, in this instance, you have not yet got back together, but the interaction was positive. If a significant date is within a few weeks of this interaction, you can reach out to your ex. So remember those points. Your ex must have reached out to you. You must have had a positive interaction. And this must have happened within a few weeks of the important date on the calendar. If this happened months before, then I'm afraid I suggest you still maintain no contact. But if within a few weeks of your ex contacting you and your positive conversation happening, a significant date is on the calendar, then you can reach out to your ex. Make sure you wish them a happy birthday, for instance, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and then just tag on a question asking them how their day has been. If you don't receive a response, then you must go straight back into no contact. That is my suggestion for you in this situation. So I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast and I hope this has helped you for those of you who are a few months in to using my version of a no contact rule and how I suggest that in most instances, your best chance of success is to maintain it and to continue through this grind because you will find happiness. Even if you don't get your ex back, if you maintain my version of a no contact rule, you will find somebody even better. So it's win-win. You either get your ex back or you will find somebody even better. Please look out for the final part of this mini-series that I'm doing, providing you support using my version of a no-contact rule, and that will be for people who have gone six months or further of using my version of a no-contact rule. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach uh, Giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach Date me that tips, go and check the site uh, Giving you advice, helping with your love life Get your ex back, or move to the next Ain't no sweat, you know Vincent Bo got you Finding love, ain't no problem, yeah Date me that tips, check it out now Thank you.